Well, after plenty of pre-match anticipation, the wait is finally over. My name is Derek Ray. I'm joined by Stuart Robson in the commentary box, and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a spectacular final. It is Liverpool, and they take on Sao Paulo. Well, it's been a long journey for both these teams, Derek. It's not been easy, but these players are 90 minutes away from making history for themselves. No doubt both managers will have set out their game plans and made sure every player knows exactly what their roles are. What a game we have in store for us. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting 11. Alisson begins in goal. Joel Matty plays alongside Virgil van Dijk in central defence. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Position starting 11. Well, it's a 4 3 3 with two out and out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. Fabinho. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Can he put it away? And a goal! Liverpool strike first in the final, and just listen to their fans. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. Good technique displayed. Well, close down straight away. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Oh, splendid header, but a fine save corner coming up trying to pick out a teammate well he opted for power from close range he might be regretting that now Tremendous intuition to win it back. Excellent ball over the top. Well, flinging himself at it. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. Yeah. 
An incisive pass. Could be troublesome. And they could get one back here. Well, that's not watertight defending. And still an opportunity. And it's Salah with the cross. Oh, a tremendous header that time. But the goalkeeper was there. So now a corner. And over it comes. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Full marks to the entire team, and now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.